Russian military aviation is well known in the world today. Russian fighters are rightly considered one of the best in the world. But the civil aviation industry in Russia after the collapse of the Soviet Union went into the shadows. Russian airlines have been using mainly Western airliners Boeing and Airbus for the past two decades. But it was not always so. The Soviet Union had a very developed civil aviation industry, a strong design school and a powerful production of passenger aircraft. In the 1980s, the Soviet aviation industry produced about 200 civilian passenger airliners a year. But with the collapse of the Soviet Union under the control of the new Russian authorities, the civil aviation industry was virtually destroyed. Why? Try to answer this question yourself. We'll talk about something else. Namely, about the aircraft, the appearance of which should revive the Russian aviation industry, restore its former respect and authority. This passenger aircraft is called MS-21 and is designed for medium haul routes. Depending on the layout of the cabin, it can accommodate from 160 to 211 passengers, that is, it belongs to the segment of passenger aircraft most in demand in the world. MS-21 is not inferior, and in a number of parameters even surpasses the Boeing and Airbus analogs. Among the technical features of this aircraft are the widest fuselage in its class and the widespread use of composite materials, the share of which is a record 35%. For example, wings are completely made of composite materials. It was planned that the first years of production of the MS-21 would be equipped with American Pratt Whitney PW1400G engines with a takeoff thrust of 14 tons. An agreement on this was signed in 2012. And it was Pratt Whitney engines that received the first four prototypes of the MS-21 aircraft. The first of these aircraft took off on May 28, 2017. The MS-21 was first demonstrated to the general public in September 2019. In the same year, its serial production was to begin. For this, a production facility was created for the plant in the city of Irkutsk, designed to manufacture 72 aircraft per year. Plans could become a reality, but competition and political circumstances intervened in the fate of MS-21. Fearing competition from the new Russian aircraft, in January 2019, the United States imposed a ban on the supply of basic composite materials from Japan, from which wings are made for the MiS-21. The fact that this ban is precisely a competitive struggle is evidenced by the fact that the MS-21 is a civilian aircraft without any possibility of military use, and up to this point the United States has never imposed sanctions against Russian civilian products. As a result, the Russian industry had to independently create the necessary materials for the manufacture of composite wings. And this task was solved in a very short time. The first MS-21 with wings made of Russian composite materials took off in December 2021. But its mass production was delayed by two years and, according to new plans, was to begin in 2022. But these plans also had to be revised. In February 2022, following the outbreak of war between Russia and Ukraine, unprecedentedly harsh Western sanctions were imposed on the Russian aviation industry. These sanctions banned the supply of any aviation systems and equipment to Russia. As a result, completing the MS-21 with Pratt Whitney engines became impossible. The Russian engine PD-14, also intended for MS-21, had already been certified by this time, but its testing on the aircraft was still ongoing. The modification of the MS-21-310 aircraft with Russian engines PD-14 received a certificate only last December. But, in addition to engines, many more foreign systems have to be replaced on the plane. Initially, they accounted for 50% of its configuration, but now the task has been to finalize the aircraft so that it consists of 97% Russian components. This work is proceeding at a frantic pace and will be completed in mid-2024. Accordingly, Russian Airlines will receive the first MiS-21S only at the end of 2024. Nevertheless, the production of MS-21 in the city of Irkutsk has already begun. Back in 2022, the airframes of three aircraft were docked at this plant and the assembly of two more aircraft began. 
So, despite all the obstacles, in 2024 the MS-21 aircraft will still begin to arrive to customers, ensuring the independence of Russian civil aviation. Unfortunately, this will happen five years later than planned. When MS-21 was just beginning to be designed, there was euphoria in Russia in relations with Western countries. But the most experienced and far-sighted specialists even then suggested spending more time on development, but immediately making an aircraft with the maximum use of Russian components. They argued that Western countries, despite numerous assurances of friendship and support, would do everything possible so that Russia would never be able to produce modern industrial products and compete with Western companies. Unfortunately, they turned out to be right.